the descent was rapid, but it was it was interesting. I slid down a little bit. I got to this tree, and this tree, I'd never seen anything like it before. It was like seven or eight tree trunks coming out of one tree trunk and out, and the, and the base of the tree was curved, curved around as if a place to sit. As if the Buddha boy, I saw some video of the Buddha boy sitting on her tree. Rebecca just made a video to me. Rebecca, you, if you're watching this, where you said, maybe you're the kind of person that will just sit under your tree. And that came into my mind when I saw this tree and I said, this is the place. Out loud, I said, this is the place. Or this is it. And I went over to the tree and I sat down underneath the tree. And just relaxed a little bit. And as I was sitting there, Drew and Abby started coming back down the hill towards me. And I was thinking on my way down this hill, I had the bottle of water in my hand, Drew was sweating, and I didn't offer him water. And, it, and I was thinking like, I was so, I was so obsessed with telling him about me and, and this butterfly, this experience that I didn't offer him my water. He was sweating, he had no water. So I saw them and I said, Drew, do you want the rest of this? I noticed you were sweating earlier. And he said, no, thank you but we're gonna get water when we get to the bottom. I said, okay. And he continued on with Abby. I felt better that he came back to me so that I could. And then I saw a third butterfly. And then these dogs were barking across the, the, the canyon and I said oh I said it's okay and they continued to bark and I said I'm not going to and I heard her yell to, to the dog stop it Darby and I said I don't take it personally that you're barking Darby just to myself and as I said that he stopped barking on my way to the canyon this is it then I continued down I think I'm going to save that for last because this is on and then I think that's it I got to the bottom the eye contact I, I, something changed I felt this relaxation the feeling of being high without being high and people have told me that it can happen and I believe that it can I've, I've had it before but not like this not so comfortable I was making eye contact with people and and the animals and and meditating with people watching me just sitting there with my legs crossed my eyes closed my hands up and people were walking by me and it's okay it's okay there's nothing wrong with that just because it's different it's it's normal I wish that I'd had a camera crew with me to experience it and this is what I want to do is, is take a camera crew around the world and experience the things and the people and really experience them and listen to them and, and see them that's what I want. On my way to the canyon, after I dropped David off, I was driving down Santa Monica Boulevard. And I got to a light, and there was a red light, and I saw these three guys come running, frantically running, and looking around, and yelling, and then r running back, and running. They were, they were Latin. I was going to say they were Mexican guys. It's, it's, a, it's a, I don't know that it even matters, but except that I don't know that they... They understood me. They understood me. They turned and they ran back and the traffic was stopped. And then the light turned green and they came running across in the middle of the intersection, chasing a fourth guy, grabbing him and throwing him and throwing him into the street onto the ground and hitting him and throwing him. And the cars were, were stopped. They couldn't move because these three guys were throwing this fourth guy around and, and the, the fourth guy was trying to run and get away. So I, I, I looked out at them and I said, STOP! And one guy looked up at me and I pulled my car forward and I looked at the other three, two guys on the, on the, the, the fourth guy and I said, STOP! And they looked at me and the, the fourth guy ran into the store that was there. And then the other ones, they looked shaken. And then they turned and they, and they followed him into the store. But I knew he was okay. 
and I thought in my mind, realize what you're doing. And in, next time I will get out of my car, I, I had my sunglasses on and that stopped me from truly making them understand what they were doing. And I was in my car, which is a false sense of safety, a safety belt that doesn't exist. I want to get out of my car and speak to these people and tell them to stop. Realize what you're doing. It was like watching animals. The dark side, the passion and the anger, it can be used in moderation to help people in moments of desperation. But realize what you're doing. back I got a Jamba Juice with immunity uh, immunity boost it's the strawberry it's really good Jamba Juice is really good it's fresh realize what you're doing that's all that I can say right why, then why do I say that's all I can say because it's not all I can say. It's just an important thing right now. Like those people grabbing each other and throwing the man and hurting the man. Realize what you're doing. 